Hello my wonderful viewers, this is Linda Kenyatta and as usual this is Kenya Dog TV, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. And we are continuing with our dog training series and uh, here with me is Dan who participates in the training as a decoy. Huh. I'm telling you, I'm learning things. So in dog trainings we usually have a decoy and I will let Dan who's the pro explain more who's a decoy and what is his participation in dog training. Karibu sana Dan. Welcome. Asante sana. Okay. First of all, introduce yourself. I know we've met you before in the show, so reintroduce yourself to the people and uh, explain to us exactly who is a decoy. Yeah, so basically my name is Daniel Oigua. Mm -hmm. Uh, we met uh, a couple of months ago, uh, shooting the first, I think, episode. Mm -hmm. So today I was the decoy of the day. So the decoy is a, is a subject person who is uh, attacked by the dogs uh, as a trainer, not uh, in real life, so that the dogs can learn how to attack a human. So I play as a, I take the act of the thief, dog, or intruder, or criminal. Okay, so what do you need to know to be a decoy? So, so basically when it comes to decoys, mm -hmm. uh, there's a test of courage. Uh, a lot of practice, uh, the distance is important because there's a, there's a level whereby the dog is let loose and there's a long leash which, by which the dog is attached to so you're not supposed to cross a particular line so if you cross that line uh, it won't be your arm or it will be either your, 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 your gut, your, your behind, your back or any other place so you have to like maintain the perimeter uh, distance that you have practiced uh, on and uh, yeah and you, you get to like communicate with the, the handler. The handler is a guy holding the dog as I am the, as I am the decoy. Mm -hmm. So if he, he, if he gives the sign language for you to stop mm -hmm. and, you, and you miss that one, you are... <laughs> yeah. As a decoy, are you not afraid that the dog might miss? How do you protect yourself from an accident happening or a mistake happening? Okay, okay. Yeah, I had to go to school for that. I didn't just wake up one day. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was given the sleeve. There was a time I was given the sleeve back, back, back then when I was in high school. I used to tag along with these guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, by that I got the practice and I learned the, the, the amount of pressure and the amount of, uh, amount of um, the degree of letting loose towards a dog that I can actually trust myself with a dog. Mm -hmm. uh, slowly but patiently, I used to be, I used to be frightened because uh, some dogs were bigger than I was because I've done decoys on baubles, I've done decoys on uh, Caucasians. I've done decoys on two dogs at, at a time uh, with a bodysuit. Uh, there's a particular bodysuit where you put it on and then the dogs are let loose. I've, I've done decoy without the sleeve or anything, but the dogs had muzzle, so they were punching onto me, so I actually had to have a tough jacket on. So all those things are actually trained, uh, actually taught to us as decoys so as to uh, avoid or minimize the number of accidents or getting hurt together. Do you have any uh, special outfits or tools that you use as a decoy? Yes, yes. Today I'm going to show you. I have a soft hand sleeve. It's a half small sleeve. It actually covers the, the, from the arm to the elbow area. And it's used to like start off dogs on the soft biting. Young dogs in particular will, will want to go through this. But you can also use it uh, on, on big breeds as it's, uh, it's tough enough. They can't bite through it, but it's got some few bite bite marks here but it's one of the gears we normally use we call them uh, training agitation gears so there's a short, uh, soft sleeve there's the full sleeve it, it, it's from my ham, ham, hand down here it turns and it's got something shielding my shoulder so just in case the dog swings and flies it can actually get to my shoulder or my neck and there's a, the, the main main one which is a bodysuit it's a big full bodysuit that sometimes comes with a helmet uh, say if you happen to trip and the dog goes for you you don't get your head chewed off or chewed on. I think what you're talking about, I've had an accident, huh? <laughs> uh, and um, my other question, yes. I know you're a dog breeder yourself and you run a kennel. Can you be a decoy to your own dogs? Yeah, yeah, yeah you can be a decoy. Uh, there's, a, there's, a, there's an American trainer, he's an old trainer back in the 70s or 80s. Mm -hmm. uh, he's got some good, good videos, you can, if you follow him, he's called Zagenberg, mm -hmm. something like that. Uh, he shows on she, she, she shows he shows techniques on how you can play with your dog as you play with your dog with a tag you play with your dog on on yourself or using your body whether by the dog bites on you and you use the release cue because you know your dog will listen to you when you tell it to off out 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 
or to drop so you use you use yourself to do that so i okay sometimes people will say what if he thinks it's a game but uh, for him it actually does work so you can actually start off with a young dog train it on the bitings and all that so eventually you will actually train it on target on target where i am that target maybe it's your dog you've been playing tag with it it's been actually tagging on a sleeve but this time around you want it to like uh, do it professionally or in real life sense because it's gonna be more or less your personal protective dog so you want a dog that can actually assimilate the same the same play onto an, an intruder without thinking the intruder is just having fun with you so yeah i believe you can actually start off the dog's bitings and then uh, the bite work eventually we, which you may lead it in onto biting an agitator so you can actually start off uh, playing around with your dog with a sleeve mm, uh, something like that mm. it's a uh, it's it's a real life thing it's practical it's a uh, it's an everyday thing it's not like a, a work whereby you, you it's like it's your car cars you go home and you like retire it's a lifestyle mm-hmm. loving dogs keeping dogs is a lifestyle so mm-hmm. uh, it's good if you if you can get a partner where uh, he or she is okay mm-hmm. with your passions or your hobbies especially with dog business or dog keeping or dog training mm-hmm. Uh, I could actually work for your advantage because let's say maybe I'm incapacitated mm-hmm. and maybe I would need someone to like take care of my dogs. Mm-hmm. So I would really, really much appreciate if my better half <laughs> would, <laughs> would jump on board. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So yes, but some will learn. Some will learn. Uh, yes, and I have dated people who who love dogs, who didn't love dogs, who are neutral about dogs. So I say it's just a matter of how you see things. Because yeah, I think maybe I can actually get. Uh, married to someone who who is not into dogs but uh, gives me the opportunity to be myself there yeah, yeah, cool, yeah um what advice would you give somebody out there thinking they want to venture into the world of dogs uh, let me talk uh, to those who want to be dog agitators or decoy trainers ipo training in particular uh, anyone can do it either you're a girl either you're a man a boy as you've seen my good friend here Amzet Walib uh, he's 63 years old and he's actually still uh, up and about with the dog. So I'll say this, if it is in your heart, you go ahead and do it. And it is quite lucrative. It, it can actually put bread, butter, sausages on your table and, then, and pay bills. <laughs> okay. Pay. And there you have it. If it's in your heart, go out and do it. It doesn't matter who you are, male, female, your age, just go out and do it. And there you have it. I've been your host, Linda Kenyita, and this is Kenya Dog TV, the best documentary channel for all dog lovers. Subscribe, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and uh, leave a comment down below. See ya. Bye. Till next time.